Welcome to Info Gamer. My name's Mark. My name's Nathan. And we want to show you guys how to debug some C Sharp Unity stuff. And we've already got some videos out there already, but there's a bunch of comments that say, we want more of these because they don't like looking through all of the um, forms. Yeah, forums. <laughs> yeah. So we do have those videos out there, but we want to do a lot more. And so we thought we'd put out a little intro to this playlist explaining what you should do in order to help us create this playlist. So we've been there where we're uh, trying to code something and it is not working. And um, there was this one time I specifically remember I typed up all this code and it was awesome and I could not figure out why it was not working. I was getting really, really upset. And so I asked my bro to look through the code and what was up. And, and he found one capital, like one letter that was supposed to be capital that wasn't. And uh, then the code worked. Yeah. And you know how mad I got? <laughs> I, I remember that. You were definitely upset about it. Yeah. But it happens to all of us. It's happened to me. I've had those days where I've been in a computer lab at school for hours on end and I just can't get the code to work or there's something wrong with the logic and it's it's frustrating and so we want to put out these videos to help you find the solutions to your problems and help you answer them. Yeah we also got a bit of comments on the videos that we've already released on how that they they like these they like these videos to uh, you know they type in the error and then they find a video that helps them fix it instead of having to trudge through all of these forums to try and fix the problem. Now there's two things that we would love for each of you to do before you leave us a comment asking us how to fix an error. Yeah, the first one is to go to the console window and see if you can't see what the error is telling you about, what line it's located on, and you know how far in the line, so that you can see if you can figure it out yourself. But let's show you how to do that really quick. All right, so here we have our tic-tac-toe project open inside of Unity, and I've intentionally created an error within our code. Yeah, as you can see, this uh, little red means that there's an error in the console window. You're going to want to make sure that's open, and you can go to Windows and go down to Console to go and find that. Yep. Then you want to actually read what this error says. It's going to point to the line and script and the actual number of the line that it's in. Yeah, so, so this first part that says asset slash tic-tac-toe ig slash script slash game controller dot cs, that's the actual script that the error is occurring in. And then the second part, this little number, is the line and where it's positioned in that line. And then this is an error code. Now you don't have to know what the error codes mean, but you can type them into Google and the error might pop up a solution to the error. But the last part is probably the most important part and this is explaining what feedback you're getting about that error. So right now it says unexpected symbol O player button. Yeah, so we can go ahead and click on that error, right? And it will take us to the script that it's in and we can open it and we can go to the line number on the left you're going to want to make sure you have the line numbers open. It's not default in Unity, is it, for um, Visual Studio? I'm not sure, but it should be pretty simple to find. To bring up the line number options, you can go to Tools, and then go down to Options. Then in this search box, all you have to do is type in line number, and then it will bring up the text editor options and the all languages, and then generals, and you want to select general and then right here it says line number with a little toggle option and so if I wanted to turn them off I could untoggle it but I'm gonna leave them on make sure to hit OK to save the settings of course yeah so in unity it was giving us an error message based on what unity understands is the problem and unity did not know what O player button meant and so when we go into Visual Studios, it actually gives us a little bit more information by telling us where the error is occurring. And so this red squiggly line, when we cursor over it, it is saying that it expects a semicolon. But we can talk more about this error in a future video when we talk about unexpected symbols. 
And so I'm just going to go ahead and fix this error by typing in a semicolon. And then I'll go ahead and save it and go back to Unity. As you can see, the error disappeared. You can also clear the console window before you hit play again to make sure that the error gets uh, erased. After you're done doing your own error checking and looking to the line and seeing if you can fix it, go ahead and search for the error in our videos and see if we've already made a video on how to fix that error. If we don't have a video yet, we would totally appreciate you guys leaving a comment on what error you're receiving. We would like you to send us your code as well so that we can recreate the error that you have and then fix it, show you guys how we fixed it. Yeah, and so just to recap, step one is to try and fix the error by yourself through the console window and using what Unity gives you as feedback. And then number two is to look through all the videos to see if we've already created the solution to your error. Yeah, we essentially want to create a little library for to fix really to fix easy errors that, that will save people time. So this will be really helpful for you guys and in the future when other people search the errors, it's going to help them out too. Yeah, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified when we publish new debugging videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah.